Wayside Furniture. Not the outcome the Cavaliers were looking for to end this five-game homestand. The Portland Trailblazers coming alive in that second half, especially down the stretch of the fourth quarter, and they take this one here tonight, 103 to 95. Everyone, welcome into our set here at Rocket Mortgage Field House alongside Mr. Cavalier, Austin Carr. I'm Kaylee Griffin. It's the Trailblazers with a 103 to 95 victory in AC leading into this game. We said, hey, you can't take the Trailblazers lightly. Right. They're getting healthy. They're getting their key pieces back. Yes. That certainly showed down the stretch of tonight's game. You're, you're right. I mean, Brogdon made a big difference. Scoop, did, even though he didn't score, he made a good difference, but a big difference rather. But when you when you kind of let things get away from you on your defensive end of the floor and offensively you start missing shots to turn the ball over I mean it, it, you could see it at the end of the first half when the Cavs started to get a chance to stretch the lead they turned the ball over they missing key shots and they did it like every time they had a chance and so they went into the locker room you know they talked about it but they couldn't stop it in the second half. Once you let the horse out the barn like they did with the Blazers, the horse usually doesn't go back in. The Cavaliers led by just one at the end of the third quarter and then the fourth quarter, AC. It was all Portland in that one. They outscored the Cavaliers 29 to 20 in that final frame. You saw Malcolm Brogdon, Matisse Thibel as well, and Shaden Sharp stamping up in a big way. Uh, what can you say about Portland's efforts down the stretch of this game? Well, you can see the fact that they missed Brogdon, they missed Scoot, and now they have pretty much their whole team back. And these guys are very athletic. Their bench was solid today. Their bench gave them some great minutes. This team is very athletic, and they I, I think they sort of slipped up on the Cavaliers in that second half. Their second team was awesome. I mean, look at the numbers in the second half. They went for 40 points in the first half to 63 in the second half, 56% shooting. They knocked down 10 threes and 22 bench points as well. I think it's easy to look at a team's record when you come into a game. They're 5 and 12. Yes. They, they're trying to build human something nature. here. Exactly. Yeah. And, and the Cavaliers kind of fell into that trap here tonight. But this is a Portland team that has a lot of NBA players on their roster. They're also now 3-1 and one in their last four games. They're showing some progress. Yeah, well, when I first came into the league, all the veterans always told me one thing. They are professionals just like you. They might not have the same record, but if they get going, they can beat you at any time. And that's what I think the Cavaliers kind of lost track of here. But, but they kind of really put their own feet in the hot water because yep. they turn the ball over too much at the wrong time. Timing is so important in this game. You turn the ball over every time they had a chance to extend the lead, they would turn it over or miss key shots. And you can't do that for so many times in this game. They did it about three or four times in a row and after that, things started turning towards the Blazers. Well, you're leading us right into this next segment because turnovers really were the story of the game. There were 42 combined turnovers tonight leading to 54 combined points off turnovers the Cavaliers turned the ball over 19 times leading to 23 points for the Blazers and unfortunately AC those turnovers seem to come in some critical moments down the stretch of the fourth quarter and, and, and that's what hurts you when you start turning the ball over and this is I mean they were having trouble in the first half scoring and the Cavs gave him an opportunity to get easy baskets. And once you get easy baskets like that, you're, you get very encouraged. You get very like, oh, we can get these guys. And, and when you have young players, athletic players like that team, and you give them hope, then you're in trouble. And the Cavs gave him hope, and that's one thing that a veteran team cannot do. They know better than that, but the Cavs fell in, it fell to it this, to tonight. The Blazers found some momentum down the stretch of the game, led by Malcolm Brogdon and Shaden Sharp, as they come away victorious here tonight, 103-95. Hey, more to come here on Cavaliers Live. The Cavs falling by eight here tonight. Donovan Mitchell trying to will his team down the stretch. He finished with 23. Building some momentum. Four players tonight scored in double figures. Donovan Mitchell, he led the way for the Cavs here tonight. He finished with 23 points, seven rebounds, and six assists. AC Donovan still looking to find a rhythm in terms of his three-point shot. But what did you see in terms of him trying to will this team down the stretch of the game? Well, you could see... The, the 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 competitive nature of the man because down the stretch he tried to will this team to victory he was attacking the hoop he's shooting jumpers he couldn't get his jumper to go but he always attacked the hoop trying to encourage his players to come on let's try and win this game
the Cavaliers with two players scoring 20 or more here tonight. Donovan Mitchell, like I mentioned, 23 for him. And Evan Mobley getting it done inside as well. 20 points, eight rebounds, an efficient 9 of 14 from the floor. And AC, this feels like what we talk about on a nightly basis when it comes to Evan Mobley. He has been so effective inside. What did you see from Mobley tonight? Well, he's becoming very aggressive now on the offensive end, which really brings him more in focus on the defensive end of the floor. I mean, he's getting very good at knowing how to proceed after Garland penetrates or, or, or if somebody penetrates. He does a good job right there. He did a good job of hesitating before he went into the lane and in active hands in the in the uh, passing lanes. Always good. And this was, this, I love this shot here. He had a different angle, but that extra long step gave him a perfect angle to bank the ball in. Battle in the post here tonight. The Cavaliers doing a good job on DeAndre Ayton, holding him to 10 points and six boards. There you see Mobley's numbers. Jared Allen finishing with a double-double, 12 points and 10 boards as well. AC, I, I, this team started feeding the bigs inside in the first half. What did you see in terms of them maybe taking a step back in that second half? Well, they just lost focus on it. At the first half, they were concentrating on getting the ball into the lane. Second half, you could just see they were more on the perimeter and they were not looking at getting the ball inside. You have to give uh, the Portland's defense a little credit too because they were a lot more aggressive trying to keep the Cavs from getting the ball inside. But that energy that they put out there forced the, it kind of made the Cavaliers stay shy away from going inside. The Cavaliers led by as many as 16 in the first half and AC we talked about it at halftime the pick and roll game was really going for the Cavaliers. Oh man. Those guards were fighting those driving lanes finding Evan Mobley finding Jared Allen inside. What impressed you most about how they got that pick and roll game going early in the first half? Well they were doing a good job of keeping them occupied on the weak side so they couldn't focus on helping helping them from the weak side and, and that was where Garland they were just picking them apart everybody was making solid passes doing a good job and you almost got this team to quit but you kept turning the ball over and giving them encouragement obviously we saw some positives there and that, and that came early on in this game the collapse happened in the second half but when you're taking a look at this game obviously the Cavaliers gonna look to put this one aside as they head to Detroit this weekend how do you build off of some of that momentum you had in the first half? Well, you have to watch the film and, and, and look at the positives. Because if you look at the negatives, you're going to be kind of browbeaten. So you don't want to get to that point. So you look at the positives, where you were before you start letting things down, and you start looking at why. Why did we do it and why did it happen? And then once you focus on why and, and try to stay away from why, That'll hopefully get you going, but you, you, you're going into the, the, the Detroit now. This team, they are a young team. They're going to be aggressive. They're going to be coming after you. You cannot take this team lightly. I think the Cavs kind of backed off the pedal a little bit in the second half and, and, and let this team kind of get rolling. And once you get into a snowball situation, it's hard to stop. I mean, it's just hard to stop these teams because they're pros just like you are. Yeah, no doubt. Some lessons to be learned from the Cavaliers here tonight as they go into a matchup against the Pistons. That's going to look very similar to what we saw here tonight. A team that is fighting, trying to find yes. their rhythm. They're trying starting to, to get some healthy right. bodies. It's, it's going to be a very similar situation yes, for the will. Cavaliers this weekend. More to come here on Cavs Live as we break this one down. The Cavs fall into the Blazers tonight, 103-95. to DG for three. He finished with 15. kênh YouTube của mình và ngày hôm nay mình xin đọc tiếp phần 2 của câu chuyện quảng cáo qua gương trong uh, quyển truyện Doraemon mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện có lẽ trước hết tớ với cậu nên làm một chương trình quảng cáo cho chính công ty của tụi mình đã sau đó hãy chọn một cửa hiệu đề nghị quảng cáo không công cho họ xem và khi doanh thu bán hàng tăng thì tất cả mọi người cũng sẽ biết đến chúng ta Không nên chọn những cửa hàng đã đông khách Tìm ở dãy phố đằng sau xem Đây rồi, đúng là cửa hàng bọn mình đang kiếm Trông nói sơ sắc như muốn sắp tiệm đến nơi Cấm không có vị khách nào lui tới Khó lắm, không ai chịu hiểu cho tôi Cửa hiệu tuy cũ nhưng chúng tôi rất chú trọng đến việc an toàn vệ sinh thực phẩm Đúng đấy, chẳng bói đâu ra một hạt vội 
Tôi rất tự tin về chất lượng bánh của cửa hàng Ngon thật Thế sao bác bán không chạy nhỉ? Vì phía trước Vì đường có Đường cái ở phía trước rộng Có rất nhiều cửa hàng Cửa tiệm bắt mắt Nên họ có thể giữ chân khách hàng Lại Tôi cũng đang định sửa sang quầy hàng Nhưng vì không có tiền Nên để bó tay Bất cứ để bọn chó lo rồi khách hàng sẽ đổ về đây Đông như kiến cho bác xem Thật thế à Tớ sẽ vặn núng điều kiện hết cỡ Để quảng cáo Phát đi khắp thành phố này 5 4 3 2 1 Bắt đầu đi Bánh bao của tiệm Ampara Mua của các loại bánh Kỹ thật là mình cặp đứt ra mặt rồi Cực ngon cực rẻ chỉ với 100 yên, quý khách có thể mua được bánh rán tại cửa thiện. Aipara, một sự lựa chọn. Không rồi, mò biến đi để người ta còn trang điểm. Aipara, Aipara, tiệm bánh tuyệt vời. Ôi, cậu dám nhìn tứ. Ừ, chúng tôi xin kết thúc chương trình quảng cáo tại đây. Xin cảm ơn và hẹn gặp lại. Mời quý khách tiếp tục soi gương và nhìn ngắm khuôn mặt mình Do không Khách hàng sắp đến tôi đấy Sao lại mãi chẳng có ai tới nhỉ Để tới đi một vòng xem tình hình thế nào Video của mình đến đây là kết thúc Xin chào các bạn và hẹn gặp lại các bạn ở các video tiếp theo Chào mừng các bạn đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình xin đọc tiếp phần ba của câu chuyện quảng cáo qua gương trong quyển truyện của Doraemon cực ngon cực to và cực rẻ chỉ với 100 yên quý khách có thể mua được bánh rán tại cửa tiệm Apara một lựa chọn không hề tồi mau biến đi để người ta còn trang điểm Apara Apara tiệm bánh tuyệt vời ôi cậu còn dám nhìn tớ à Chúng tôi xin kết thúc chương trình quảng cáo tại đây. Xin cảm ơn và hẹn gặp lại. Mời quý khách tiếp tục soi gương và nhìn ngắm khuôn mặt của mình. Do không, khách hàng sắp đến rồi đấy. Sao đợi mãi? Chẳng có ai tới nhỉ? Để tớ đi một vòng xem tình hình như thế nào. Nhưng rồi, mọi người để nổi giận. Họ bảo không bao giờ mua bánh ở cửa tiệm Apara. Ngay từ đầu, bác đã thấy chuyện này không ổn rồi Bác đâu có nhờ vả các cháu kia chứ Giờ thì sao đây? Nếu khách hàng không chịu đến Cửa tiệm chắc chắn sẽ bị phá sản Đó là trách nhiệm của bọn mình Hu hu, chúng cháu xin lỗi bác Các cháu nín đi Thực ra chẳng còn cách nào cứu vãn tình hình Nên bác cũng có ý định đóng cửa từ lâu rồi À phải Các cháu thích Bánh nào cứ ăn thoải mái đi Thôi thôi chúng cháu đã chẳng giúp được gì Lại còn để bác chiêu đãi Không sao hả bác Thế thì cháu ăn nhé Ôi Mình đã từng ao ước Được ăn cả nối bánh rán thế này Bánh đậu ngon lắm cậu nhạ Bánh giòn von Bánh bòn von này Cũng ngon chẳng kém Ái trà Trông ngon thật đấy Mẹ ơi, mẹ mua cho con cái bánh kia đi. Xin quý ông, quý bà, xếp hàng, không nhân, không chen lấn, xô đẩy. Và video của mình đến đây là kết thúc. Xin chào các bạn và hẹn gặp lại các bạn ở các video tiếp theo. Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình. Và ngày hôm nay mình xin đọc tập truyện Giàn nhạc cảm xúc.